Demigod Reviews here, and we are reacting to the new Ghost Recon game, Breakpoint. Now, can't really say that the last Ghost Recon game impressed me enough to be excited for this, but I just, I just, I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll impress me, I've heard some things about this, and I just, you know, maybe. So let's check it out, let's see if it, it'll, it, like, improve my thoughts on Ghost Recon so far. But I will say Wildlands has left a sour yet boring taste in my mouth. So let's see if that changes with Ghost Recon Breakpoint. <laughs> oh, damn, there's a lot going on. how you catch codes that's definitely how you catch codes never surrendering so is nobody like wearing jack okay okay all right that's a big ass revolver whoever this person is gotta be like somebody that that knows the ghost or that's inside or something and with my brothers and sisters at my side there is no oh, so fight we fear. Women in this game now, because I remember in Wildlands. If I'm not mistaken, there were women in Wildlands. <laughs> That's how important that game really is. Uh, the future was tech. The Star Wars game was this just this goes recon. Actually, we really cool are scene. ghosts. We aren't afraid of death. Holy oh, shit, how are you gonna get out of this one? Okay, blow it up then. Blow it up then. <coughs> so, when you take the life of my brothers. When you provoke me, it doesn't matter how powerful you are. I will burn your world to the ground. Ooh. All right, talk about it then. Talk about it. Any character review? Who is it? Who is it? I'm a ghost too. I would expect nothing less. Mmm. Wait, wait, wait. So they have John Burnt. Wait, they have John Burnt on a Ghost Recon game? Interesting. Interesting. Available October 4th. October. Pre order now for guaranteed beta access. Interesting. Okay, so if if I have to be honest, there's one thing Ubisoft really knows how to do, and that's that's put together a well placed trailer, make it look cool, make it look great. But I feel like Ghost Recon Breakpoint is going to fall into the same trap that Ghost Recon Wildlands fell into. It's going to be open world, too many missions, too many characters to go after. It's going to get boring and, and, and a lot of people are going to feel winded because it's more co-op based than it is for solo play. Yeah, you can do solo play, but it's not the recommended thing. And I know a lot of people that prefer solo stories than comparison into four player co-op once again. Now, I will say the trailer looks great, looks impressive, no actual gameplay, but you have a cool story trailer to see that will sell people to like try out the game. But I will say, in all honesty, 
and this is just me being honest, if Breakpoint falls into the same trap that Ghost Recon Wildlands fell in, then I don't think it will do so well. Yes, you have John Bernthal, who is a, a great actor via Walking Dead, via The Punisher, very cool guy, and he plays a hell of a role when he plays a role, and it looks like he's gonna play a crazy character in this game, but I can't definitely say or recommend that just because you have star power now, just because you're pushing up more like paychecks or, and, and money out, that this is gonna be a promising game. If there's one thing about Ubisoft, the generation that I've noticed, it's they rely too much on open world, padding out the game, and trying to go for like, how long can we keep, keep, uh, keep people playing this game? How long can we fill this game up with this amount of content? Rinse and repeat, open world, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And that goes for Far Cry, that goes for Assassin's Creed, that goes for Watch Dogs. Open world games have been Ubisoft's like bread and butter, like this generation that's been their safety net. And honestly, I say by the end of the generation, I speak for myself and I'll probably speak for a couple more people out there if you're watching this, that we all have open world fatigue. Sometimes it's okay to go linear like you did for Rainbow Six Ubisoft. Sometimes it's okay to go for that. But I will say the trailer looks cool. Not very informative, but it looks cool. I would rather see some gameplay. If you want to sign up for the beta, I'll put the link to that in the description box below here. Hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell icon. But I will say this trailer, while it looks great, didn't necessarily sell me on this game. It just really kind of looked cool, I guess. The nice storytelling. I see they have somebody from the first, uh, well, from Wildlands. But outside of that, it just seems like gonna be more of the same thing more of the copy pasta and and you know while that's cool and all i just wish ubisoft would step out that safety net and do something a little bit different here but that's all folks that's my reaction for this hit that like hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell icon share out the video if you want to sign up for the beta for ghost recon breakpoint the link to that is in the description box below or check out my previous reaction video on final fantasy 7 and many more reaction videos is probably in the description box below that i can't name right now and i'll see you guys in the next video and also go check out my state of play review for playstation all right guys until next time until the next video peace